Talking to external hardware devices via Data Controller from PlayOut One is super easy, and in this video, I'm going to show exactly how you do it. My name is Dave Briley Jones from Air, and here we go. We're into it. So. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the command manager and the way you get into the command manager is you click the one logo in the top left hand corner here, go to the launcher and hit command manager. Now, when you open the command manager up, you may see some commands. If you don't, don't worry. We're going to hit the plus button at the top and we're going to now search for the first command we're going to set up. And that is going to be talking to an Axia node to trigger a GPO. Don't ask me what GPO stands for. I know it's something, something output. However, if you do know, please email me, support at air.com. Right, we're selecting Axia GPO. We're going to turn on channel two on a certain device and that's connected to GPO two. So we type that in as the friendly name. We're gonna select our device. We did this in an earlier video where we set up integrations in data controller. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, we called it node one, and now we're going to go and set our device parameters. So we're going to alter pin number three on GPO one, and we're going to set that to be on. If you want to do a pulse, you can set that here as well. And that's it. Once you're done, click the save button, and that command is now in the command manager ready to go. Should we add another? So this time we're going to do a serial connection. So we've already set up in data controller, our broadcast tool switcher, which is on a serial port. So now we're going to connect to that and send a command to turn on a channel that has connected to that switcher. So uh, from the device drop down box, we're going to select our main satellite receiver, which we set up earlier. We're going to send a broadcast tools command, and this is where we can specify our input and our output. So we're going to send input one to output two, and we're going to turn it on as simple as that. We hit save and that command is now ready to go. Let's go add an SAS console command, shall we? Let's turn on an SAS relay. We've got a lovely Rubicon connected up. Uh, let's give it a friendly name this time. We didn't do that for the serial device. You don't have to, this is optional. Uh, so here we're going to turn on Fox News, which is on a, a certain Rubicon channel via a relay. So the relay number uh, on this one is five and we're going to turn it on. And we hit save. Job done. As simple as that. Finally, I'll show you a Wheatstone command. We go to Wheatstone. We're going to control the utility mixer. And in this little example here, we are going to turn on a channel that has Westwood one on it. So we're going to select our blade two, which we set up earlier in data controller. Uh, we want to turn on the utility mixer functionality number here. Well, we know our utility mixer is number one and we have our channel here, which is number three. And we're going to turn it on. We hit save and there it is. It's ready to be selected throughout the play out one suite of products. So if you ever come across anywhere in the product, where you can select a predefined command. This is where you set them up in the Playout One Command Manager.